this video, I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to use Master Shots and Active Track 4.0. I have the Air 2S. I'm going to set this up with the monument just there behind me. This is going to be a tutorial for beginners that have not yet mastered on how to do manual maneuvers with the drone to create these awesome little quick shots. I'm going to start off with Master Shots, which creates a series of quick shots in a two minute video that it compiles itself and then showcase to you guys how that looks. And then we'll move on to Active Track 4.0 and how you guys can use that. This is perfect for beginners that are new to drone flying, that are not familiar with using the remote control and creating very smooth effects. So let's go ahead and do that now, starting off with master shots. So step number one, make sure you go out into a wide open area, away from a lot of uninvolved people. You're going to need plenty of space. And of course, as usual with drone flying, make sure you check your rules and regulations in the country that you are flying in and make sure it's safe to do though. So the first thing is to make sure you have your, all your pre-flight checks, make sure the camera is working, the propeller guards are all working and they're not broken or anything like that. And then make sure everything is set, you have enough battery, take it out and then let's get this in the air. Right, so I have the drone up in the air. Now to do master shots on the right hand side, just above the shutter button, you select that and then you go to master shots. This gives you a little preview and description of what it does. You can just tap away. On the bottom right hand corner, you can see you can change the resolution. So 1080p is there by default. I'm going to switch that over to 4K to get the best footage. To start using it, all you have to do is drag your finger across the object or the subject that you want to have the master shots for. That could be yourself as the person. It could be a monument, an architecture, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna create a small rectangle around that. You can see it's selected it. You've got this thing that pops up at the bottom, estimated flight time. If you drop that down, that gives you some dimensions here. Under medium, you have the width, which you can select as small, medium, or large. I'm gonna leave them as medium for all of them. This basically shows how tight of a shot you're going to need for that subject. So if you want it a little bit closer to yourself and you wanted to get master shots of yourself, then small would probably be the best thing rather than a very far away shot. This is very high up and I'm going to leave it as medium. Once that's done, go ahead and hit that start button on the right hand side and the drone will do everything itself and create a series of quick shots to compile into that two minute video. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Three, two, one. It adjusts the aircraft position to start creating the master shots before it begins. And now it's starting to do those quick shots. Once master shots is complete, you can see it will return to its original location. 
once this returns, you can then go ahead and check through the DJI app to see how that video came out. There you go, and it also adds on a lot of background music itself, but you can select from a multiple different options of the master shot final take. So if you go to the play menu, you can see it there. You can download it, and then you can go to template. So here you have a lot of different options for different types of music backgrounds, from effects, from title effects, whatever it may be. Now I'm going to show you an example that I've created using just the templates. So let's take a look at that now. So the second master shots I want to do is of myself and what I'm going to do with this one is to have those dimensions set as small so you can see it will get close to me. This is great because it's automatically detected me on the camera so all I need to do is press the plus button to highlight myself. There you go it picks me up let's go ahead and make the adjustments to small to get the tighter shots for the width length and height and then let's go ahead and hit start This is absolutely great, especially if you wanted to get any B-roll footage of whatever filming you're doing. It's so quick and convenient to do that you wouldn't need to spend time learning how to do a lot of manual maneuvers to get these types of quick shots. So let's fast forward a little bit and showcase to you guys the final result.
So the next thing I wanted to showcase to you guys is Active Track 4.0. To do this, you basically have to just select yourself like we did at the beginning of the video with the monument behind me. Let's go ahead and on video mode, just make sure you're selected video, highlight yourself, there you go. You get some options there at the bottom. If you hit Active Track, you also get two options, Trace and Parallel. Trace basically means it will keep you in center frame perpendicular to where the drone is and it will follow you no matter which direction you're going in. Parallel, again, is self-explanatory. It will come down side by side and follow you in a horizontal line. Let's go ahead and do trace first. Always remember to hit go. As you can see, it's now started. So it's going to follow me by keeping me center frame. It's looking great. So no matter which direction I go, Like so. And you can see it does a great job. Even if I'm coming towards it, it backs off and will adjust itself to keep me center. This is great, especially if you want moving vehicles or if you're running, some really great shots that you can create with this. Now let me go ahead and showcase to you guys parallel. So I'll just move the drone to the side. Okay, now let's do parallel and hit go. So it's following me side by side. And if I start running, You get some really awesome footage doing it like that as well. If you have the settings to do obstacle avoidance as break, if you go within, let's say some trees, it will stop. But it does a good job actually avoiding obstacles as well. If you do the avoid option, then it will go around the trees if you use the trace option on active track, which I think is also great. That was the tutorial guys. If you found that useful, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna do plenty of drone tutorials and other things tech. I have new videos out every week. So make sure you hit that button so you don't miss those videos. Any questions or feedback, drop the comments down below. Otherwise I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.